now after this incident at 11, did your mother begin to do something peculiar with respect to your body? No, it wasn't right after that incident. It was, it was much later. How much later? <sighs> Almost a year. Um, it was when other stuff started to happen. <laughs> what kind of other stuff was happening? Just generically. Uh, actual sex. Intercourse? Yes. And it was after that started to happen that your mother started to do something to you? Yes. And what was it that your mother started to do? She would ask me to sit on the bed and um, take down my pants so she could examine me. Examine you where? In my genitals. She, she, she called it checking me out. She would say, let me check you out. And I would sit down on the bed, and she would look at my penis. Would she, um, did she tell you why she was checking you out? She just said to see if there was anything wrong. She didn't give me any details about why. And were there times when there was something unusual? Yes. OK. And what were these unusual things? <sighs> I would just have a, um, small blisters uh, on my penis. And would your mother do anything about that? Yes. What did she do? She used to squeeze them and pop them. And did she ever ask you where they were coming from? No. And did she ever tell you what they were? No. And she at that point, as... Strike that. You've testified that around... 10, your father had taught you to have anal sex with him, correct? He taught me how to do it, yes. Yes. And at this point when your mother is checking you out, is that still happening? Very infrequently. Does your mother continue to check you out for several years? Yeah, all the way up until we moved to uh, California. And is there some other types of activities with your father that begin during the period that she's checking you out? Yes. And are those the things you came to call rough sex? Actually, I was referring to nice sex. OK, but was there also rough sex happening during that time? Yes. And did rough sex involve your father hurting you with things? Yes. And what kind of things was he hurting you with? Uh, needles, pins, tacks. What was he doing with the Rope. needles? Excuse me? Rope. What was he doing with the needles and the pins and the tacks, generally? He was sticking them into my thighs and my butt. Was he doing anything to your penis? Yes. What was he doing? Sometimes he'd be um, giving me oral sex, and sometimes he would have just um, tied up my penis. Back up. Tied it up with the rope? Yes. And would that hurt? Yes, very much so. And when that, those activities were going on, was your mother still checking you out? Yes. Now, your father, during the years that you lived in Pennington, was an executive with the RCA Corporation, was he not? Yes. And was he uh, traveling a lot? Yes, he was traveling uh, almost every week. At least he was in New York, away from the house almost every week. Well, was he away for the whole week, or was he away at least part of each week? Part of each week. Was he a very busy person? Yes. And did he talk about how important and busy he was at work? Yes, he'd talk about his work, not during these sessions, but uh, uh, at home at other times. At any time, Mr. Menendez, when you were alone with your father in your room, when any of these sexual things would happen, would your mother ever come and say, Jose, you have a phone call, or anything like that? No. Did your father spend a lot of time on the phone with business other than when he was in your room? Yes. And would he receive a lot of phone calls at the house? Yes.
Mr. Menendez, during these years when you were living in Pennington and these things were happening, did you think your mother knew what was going on? No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Were there times when, following one of these episodes with your father, you'd be crying? Yes. Did your mother ever come upon you when you were crying? Uh, sometimes after these, I'd have to go downstairs to dinner um, or afterwards, and she would come when she'd see me crying. And uh, Did yes. she ever ask you, Eric, what are you crying about? No. Would she ask you that sometimes if you were crying and it had nothing to do with sex with your father? Sometimes, uh, but often when I was crying, it was apparent why I was crying. Well, what do you mean? Well, I would be crying at the swimming pool, or I'd be crying coming from school, and then she'd ask me what was wrong. But if it was from sports or just from coming out of my room, she would I don't understand what you mean from sports. I don't, I, perhaps I didn't understand your If it was from swimming or if it was uh, from tennis, almost never when I was playing soccer, I, I don't think I cried, but um, if it was from sports and she was there and I she came knew. out. Yes. Okay. What I'm saying is, were there times that you would be crying when she didn't know what caused it and she would ask you? Yes. Did she ever ask you why you were crying? when it followed one of these episodes with your father? No. And what would she say, if anything, to you when you were crying following these episodes with your father? She would say, do what I told you to do. What did you tell, what had she told you to do? She, she taught me how to hide my tears and to uh, not cry. And if I was crying, she taught me how to get rid of the tears, make it seem like I hadn't been crying. And what was the method? She had, uh, she had water that she would tell me to uh, put in my eyes. Otherwise, she had this little special thing that she would keep in my bathroom to put in my eyes. What was this little special thing? I'm not sure what it was. It was in a little uh, plastic container. And she put it in your eyes? She taught me how to. So you'd put it in your eyes? Yes. These episodes with your father, what time of day did they usually occur? At night. Before or after dinner? Either before or after. Usually before when he, when he right got home from work, but sometimes it would happen after. If it were before dinner, would you still be expected to come down to dinner? Yes, unless I was unable to. And were there times when you were unable to eat dinner? There were times when I was unable to come down to dinner. Why was that? Because I was crying too much or I was too much of a mess and I was shaking and I couldn't. Uh, I couldn't come down to dinner. I used to get these these pounding headaches, um, sort of like sears through my brain. And my dad would say, you're not going down to dinner. Were you usually, however, expected to go down to dinner after one of these episodes? Yes. And would that be why you would dry your tears or put water in your eyes? Yes, um, a lot of times. Sometimes not. Sometimes I would go down to dinner uh, with my eyes red. And what would happen? How did your father react to that? He didn't like it, and uh, sometimes he would cope with it, and he just wouldn't talk to me. I was usually ignored at dinner anyway, but this time he really wouldn't talk to me.